literature started and how those well-known Philippine literary pieces were created. Hi, my name is Eliza Carril Santos and for today, I'm going to give a little background about Philippine literature and an example of its literary piece. Philippine literature passed through many periods, pre-colonial period, Spanish period, American, Japanese, and the contemporary period. These periods were the beginning of literary forms such as oral literature, folk songs, and folk tales. Oral literature is described as the daily life experiences of a person. It has two forms, riddles or bugtong, and proverbs or salawikain. Second literary form is folk songs. It has five specific forms, which are lullabies, drinking songs, love songs, religious songs, and songs of death. Folk songs are folk lyrics that are usually chanted and is all about good morals. Last literary form is folk tales or kwentong bayan in Tagalog. Folk tales contain myths, legends, fables, and epics. As you can see, as time passed by, different genres appeared. In literary pieces written by the different Filipino writers, they express themselves here. Whether it is all about politics, histories, and real-life experiences. Lope K. Santos is one of those Filipino writers who has a contribution on Philippine literature. He is a Filipino-Tagalog language writer and former senator of the Philippines. Lopik is known as the father of the Filipino grammar and the apo of the Tagalog writers. Banaag at Sikat is his masterpiece and his first novel written in 1906. Banaag at Sikat mirrors the clash of forces during the early days of the American Empire. The passage of this is all about race, class, and colonialism that still resonate today. Here is the summary of the known Philippine literary piece of Lope K. Santos, Banaag at Sikat. Banaag at Sikat revolves around the following characters. Felipe is a son of a rich president. He is also an anarchist. He hates how his father handles their wealth and how he treats others. That's why he left them and works in letter pressing. He met a girl named Tentai. She is a dignified person that lives in poverty. On the other hand, Delphine is a socialist. Felipe and him are friends. Just like Felipe, Delphine is against the accumulation of wealth by a few people who indulge in it, while thousands of people are living in poverty. He fell in love with a capitalist's daughter named Manny. Don Ramon is her father's name. Both Felipe and Delphine want equal rights for people who are wealthy and poor. That leads to a greater economic equality that benefits many people. Banaag at Sikat became the fountain head of social realism in the Tagalog novel and hailed as Asia's first proletarian novel. Because of this, Lope K. Santos is known. His first masterpiece and first novel leads him to this. 
I hope you all learned something new in this video. That's all and 